Only in my zone All my niggas getting cheese like it's provolone They ain't with us at the bar, no son, they'll never know Even through trial and error, gotta keep yourself composed Feel like me, no bitch, I'm chasing all my dreams I could yes, people, welcome back to another video on your Big Steph channel And today we're here after an exhilarating but frustrating but tough Arsenal 1-0 victory, but victory on penalties We're here with Andrew Andrew, and first of all what a fucking feeling that is! What a feeling that is! Come on! Come on! Oh, oh, Come on! First of all, before we even get to the end of the game, first half. Tell me about the first half. What do you think? First half. You know what they're gonna do. You know what they're gonna do. It's it's Porto, right? It's a European team. We saw it in the first leg. Fucking, they they want fouls. They want the play to stop. We didn't let them. We started to strangle them. Forty first minute. Chao Chasar, yeah. baby, we got that shit. Going into halftime, one nil. Frustrating, no belief. Second half, we get no goal. What are you feeling going into extra time? I'm, 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 I'm nervous. No lie, I love Arteta. I love the process. I love the team. I'm nervous. We saw Port. We saw fucking Sport. Pardon me. We saw Sporting last year. We've seen these kind of games before. We've been there before. We know those, we know those mid block teams. We know Fulham. We know Bournemouth. We know fucking Porto. We've seen, we've seen can, a lot of it. Can frustrate us. We know they can frustrate us. One one going to the second half. Heart beating a little bit. What are you feeling going into extra time, going into penalties? Nah, no doubt. No doubt. Once it was crunch time, this season, Declan Rice, fucking Mikel Arteta, baby, there was no doubt. No doubt. There was no doubt. There was no doubt in this mind of mine. So now that we've seen Arsenal show this character, show this yeah, mentality, yeah. where do you think this Arsenal team can go this season? Because those two games, these last two wins at the Emirates, were massive for our season. Yeah. What are you thinking? You know what you're setting me up for, baby. The double. We're right here. The double. The double. Champions League, Premier League. We're coming for it. We're not, you know what? We're not losing another game this season. We're not losing another game this season. Look at me in my fucking eyes. We're not losing another game this season, baby. Come Let, on, you gunners. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Andrew. Thank you for joining me. See you later. Yes, people, welcome back to another video on the Big Steph channel. We're here after Arsenal's nerve wracking win on penalties over Porto to go through to the first quarterfinal in 14 years. Ladies and gentlemen, who am I here with? Jesse. Jesse, what are you feeling about that game, Jesse? First of all, tell me. I mean, it, it, it's it's a relief. I, you, you know that Porto, first of all, Porto played incredibly organized, and I, I, I haven't seen Arsenal play so many long balls the entire season. Well, it was a very frustrating yeah. game, but we didn't have that dynamism in midfield for some weird reason. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's crazy because we had a lot of possession, but at the same time you look at possession, if you look at the amount of passes that we actually had, normally Odegaard, 70, 80 passes in a game. You have the other, whoever's playing the other number eight, it's 40, 50 but, passes. But I was, I, was, I was still saying Odegaard was brilliant was pulling incredible. the strings. Absolutely brilliant because they didn't give him no time in that midfield. The work rate of him... Havertz as well today. No. I mean, won every guys, won every area. By the way, so I last I checked, the Kai Havertz won eleven duels in the game. That's that's incredible. Eleven Massive. duels in one game. I know he's not the most gifted player on the ball, but you get a guy with that work rate, six foot four, and and a credit to him as well, being able to who he didn't have his best game up top, really was quiet, dropped into the midfield and was just an absolute presence, whether he's on the ball or not. Just the legs on that guy to just keep running. As the Unreal. game as the game went along, no subs. Going into that deeper crunch yeah. time, how, how was your how was your feeling? I was a little bit nervous. I want to talk about that for a second. My my, my big my only negative on on today's game, outside of the fact that I didn't think we played great, is we only used three subs in a 120 minute game. And if we're gonna go compete for two or th if we're gonna go compete for the league, Champions League each season, then we need to have five to seven guys that are. You have to correct. believe in the squad. Correct. And if we don't, and if Arteta doesn't trust the guys, then we need to get them out and we need to bring guys in that he does trust. That's my only negative, and I do understand Partey's coming back. I guess he doesn't trust me to throw. Tommy is coming back. VR is coming back. But we need a guy, five, six guys deep to be able to compete with the best teams because the best teams do have that. I agree. Going in, we're going to a break now. Like you said, the boys work their, work their asses off. They're going into a three-week break. Coming back from that break is Man City at the Etihad. Not gonna not looking too far forward, but what are your feelings for the rest of the season and that game specifically? You know, for the way that Arsenal have played defensively, you, we could stay in any single game. It doesn't matter who we're playing against, especially the way that back four. Shout out to Kiwi today. I thought, brilliant, was, I, thought was, I thought he was absolutely brilliant. And you saw actually the difference when Zinchenko came in about just the, the lack of quality there. I know he's, again, coming back, but he was absolutely brilliant. The fact that we could play with four center backs in a way, have one play a right back that inverts in Ben White, and here we are. I mean, we could compete with anyone here. It's really going to come down to can we win the, win the midfield battle and can someone like Saka, Trossard, Martinelli's money back, can they change the game? Because they didn't get on the ball enough today. So can we get them on the ball enough to be able to create those chances? All right. Thank you, Jesse. I appreciate that. Absolutely.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, Gunners, baby. Come on, let's go. We'll see you on the next episode. Yes, and welcome back to another video on the Big Steph channel. And today we're here after an amazing, thrilling victory for the Arsenal. I'm here with Shriram. Shriram. No, that first half, even though we got the goal, I thought it was very nervy. What do you think about the first half, first of all? Oh, I was really nervous for that first half. But, you know, Charles already is having a tough game up until that goal, but that's why you put him on, because he has that capacity. Odegaard with that brilliant piece of quality in the midfield. I thought he was absolutely outstanding. What do you think of Odegaard today? He was fantastic today. Like, just a captain's performance. I can't say anything more than that. Him hitting that first penalty, it was so clutch, because that sets the tone for the entirety penalty shootout. Not that you touched on the penalty. We can fast, but I don't want to fast forward to the penalty, I will hold that aside. Going in to the 90 minutes and the 90 minutes and the extra time, what was your feeling going to that game? Because we've seen Arsenal in these tough games before. Arsenal have had a lot of tough games, especially against last season we see against Sporting. What was your feeling going into that game? Oh man, I was nervous. This was exactly like last season. Portuguese team tied after extra time, or tied after regular time, going into extra time. I had a feeling it was just literally deja vu. It's going to be the exact same thing. But that's the thing. All these guys, they learned from last year and they executed when it counted the most. Who do you think was your player of the game before we even get to that? Penalties. Penalties, yeah. Going into the penalty shootout, I'm not going to lie, I was very oh, nervous. Yeah. I was super nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your feeling going into the penalties? Oh, I was nervous, man. I remember exactly what happened last year. I was like, I was I, I was mentally preparing myself for an exact... But David Raya, two massive saves. Oh, what do you think about massive Raya? saves. Two massive saves. And the funny thing is, is like, you know, people talk about Raya, like, you know, he's not a shot stopper. The reason I try to put him on is because he's good with his feet. And people talking about, we got to get Ramsdale in there because he's a real shot stopper. Raya proved himself today. He made two massive saves. That man is a shot stopper. Go, coming after the break, going into the Etihad on March 31st. What is your feeling going into that game after two massive wins to keep the confidence and keep that belief going? I'm feeling good, man. We learned our lesson in Europe from last year. We executed this time. We beat Liverpool. We're one of the only teams to beat Liverpool. I feel good about our chances at the Etihad this time. Who is your man of match today? One name. Oh, I got to go with the skipper, Martin Odegaard. Brilliant performance. Yes, we welcome back to another video on the Big Steph channel. We're here after a 1-0 win in after extra time. But an exhilarating, fulfilling win on penalties. And I'm here with? Karthik. Karthik. First of all, that first half was very nervy. What was your feelings about that first half in general? Oh, man. The first half, I thought we were totally going to blow it. But we came back. We came back strong. Second half, extra time, all of it, baby. We missed a few players, but it's pretty sweet. Um, What was your feeling going into penalties? Arsenal have had a tough record in Europe so far. This is our first quarterfinal in 14 years in the Champions League. How are you feeling after that? Dude, just being in the Champions League feels awesome. I feel the last penalties we did was one like Liverpool, I guess, a couple of years ago. I was definitely nervous going into it, but it's fucking awesome. Well, who, who would you say is your man of the match today? I thought, for me, Martin Odegaard with another captain's performance. He was everywhere with the ball. He, he gave us, he ran his heart out. Well, who would you think is your manager match? Captain or captain, Martin Odegaard, man. That first assist that he got in there. Brilliant. He made the game for us, and 100%. It? So, go, go, we're going into a break now, but our first game back is City at the Etihad. I don't want to look too far ahead, but what is your feeling going into that game and the rest of the season specifically? We're going to get City. We're going to get everybody else. It's a double for us, baby. Champions League, Premier League, both of it. It's happening this season. I'm ready to put my money on it. It's definitely happening. Massive call. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, we welcome back. This is Steph closing out the video in general. My reaction to the game, first of all, like I said, First half, I thought it was petering to where Porto wanted it to go. Arsenal came out firing, but looked a bit shaky as Porto wasted a lot of time. Wasted time from literally the first kick of the game. The, 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 one, the one niggly fouls, they kicked the ball out of play. The keeper had it literally. It was a very, very scrappy game. First half, we did manage to get the goal. Martin Odegaard, another brilliant performance. Leading the way with a captain's performance. Running down every long ball, any loose ball. And he, then he had the quality to find Trussard beating two players, laying off Trussard with an immaculate pass. Trussard opens the scoring. Now going into the second half, I expected Arsenal to kick on, but Porto, again, a very physical, very tough team. But we weathered through it. We got to extra time. Even though I thought we deserved to get the win in 90 minutes and through extra time, Arsenal with a massive... No, first of all, I want to give credit to every single one of the boys that stepped up and took one of those penalties today. Martin Odegaard, what was crucial, winning the toss. Not only to pick the side where we kicked to, but also to kick first. And to have that pressure on you and kick first and score. Credit to you, Martin Odegaard. You deserve 
you deserve so much for that performance today. But David Raya, two outstanding saves and should have been the third. David Raya, you were absolutely class today. Um, on a negative note, um, I, I, if we're going to challenge, like one of the boys said earlier, if we're going to challenge, Arteta is going to have to use that bench. Now, I know we saw Eddie come on a bit late. I know we saw a few of the other boys come on a bit late, but I thought we missed that dynamism in the midfield and especially out wide. Reese Nelson is a guy I would like to see come in for games like this, but ultimately, job done. Massive win. We know what we needed to do, and we got the job done. Now we go into a break, and next game back is the big one at the Etihad. Now, like I said in my last video, that energy now is going to be simmering. The belief now is simmering. Arsenal fans not only believe, but we trust in Mikel Arteta. We trust in everything that is happening so far. Let's kick on. Let's keep the momentum going. We look good. We look positive. Let's go on and kick on and win not only the league, but the Champions League as well. That was a massive draw. That was a massive win. Let's see who we get in the quarters. Now, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Don't forget, um, leave a comment down below. Who do you think Arsenal will get in the quarters? There's a few There's a few big teams out there to choose from. And a few teams we have a few a bit of a history against. So, we'll see. See you on the next one. Peace.